uh, glory to God. We thank God for His grace and mercy. And we are very excited that the Lord is our God. He is still seated on the throne. Uh, I've come on board to pass forth a Rema word. A Rema word is an hour word that is coming from the heart of God for us uh, so that we can know where we are and you know what the Lord is doing uh, in this particular moment. Every moment uh, you see the dawn of a new day, you should know that the, the masses of God are new every morning and uh, we are a partakers of what the Lord is doing in our generation and in the now, in the name of Jesus. Now, uh, when I was coming to, to the house of God this morning, uh, I had a statement in the spirit uh, and I had the Lord say, we are in a season of inner transformation and uh, it is very personal it is very personal the season of inner transpo uh, transformation and uh, it is very personal it is very very personal and uh, uh, god is working on us from inside you know working uh, on us you know as individuals from inside uh, so that uh, he can restore us from inside he can heal our inner being he can restore our inner being as individuals he can um, you know uh, uh, rectify what needs to be rectified he can uh, resurrect what needs to be res resurrection from inside He's working on us from inside, uh, so that uh, outside here we we may you know we may come out you know as sons of God who are ready to be manifested with the glory of God. So I have had a statement in the spirit about inner transformation, inner transformation, and uh, it's because the church is in a season of transition, uh, and this transition is very personal. The transition is very, very personal. The transition that is taking place right now is very, very personal. So uh, we must be uh, able to fit in to that which the Lord is doing right now, and purpose to operate from a place of rest as a son of God, you know, purpose as an individual that I, I, I'm going to operate from a place of rest as an individual in the presence of God and uh, we are going to enjoy the faithfulness of God in Jesus' name. So it is as uh, I've had inner transformation and uh, it's because the church, uh, we are in the season the Lord has said in the fullness of time and uh, you know, the church of Jesus Christ is on transition and this one is very personal. It, it is a big beginning with each one of us so that when we gather as as the sons of God you know that corporate unit you know that whole body of Jesus Christ each one of us we will be able to supply to the body accordingly in the name of Jesus so I want to read the scriptures I have had in the spirit in the book of first Peter first Peter uh, chapter 1 first Peter chapter 1 and uh, verse, verse 3 the Bible says blessed be the, the God um, and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us, you know, to a living hope through uh, the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Hallelujah. To an inheritance uh, incorruptible and undefiled and that uh, that does not fade away, reserved in heaven, uh, in heaven for you. So our Father has already begotten us. And I also want to read Second uh, Peter, uh, the same chapter 1 and, and verse 2 and 3, this, uh, verse 2 and 3 again. The Bible says, Grace, uh, grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ our Lord. The Bible says, as his divine divine power has given to us all things uh, that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue. Are you seeing this? So uh, this is Anina. If you read, look at uh, you know the, the first epistle of Peter, uh, chapter 1, he's saying that you know uh, we, we have been begotten. Hallelujah. We, we have received that uh, you know that 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 adoption. E each one of us has a part in the Lord, and, and we have been uh, you know we, we have been uh, begotten 
uh, uh, sons of God. So, uh, and the uh, uh, second epistle of Peter is saying that, you know, by, by God's own divine power, he has given us all things. It is an inner transformation. The deposit of the Holy Spirit of God is in us as individual. We have been begotten individually as sons of God. So, we, we, we have, you know, we, we have that uh, inner being that is already transformed. Even if we are we are working on others, human beings, we still have, we, we are enjoying, you know, that inner transformation because in us, the sons of God, we have, oh, we thank you, Holy Spirit. I hear the Spirit of God say, we have already acquired, you know, that inner, you know, that inner divine being. Hallelujah. Because we have already been adopted or begotten as sons of God. Hallelujah. So, uh, and, and for those who are joining us, we are talking about uh, what I have heard in the Spirit this morning. It is... Um, morning hours in my country uh in africa it is morning hours i'm, I'm seeing my brethren from the u.s yeah we are in different uh uh, uh timings you know t time zones are different uh but listen to this uh this is where we are now the bible says in the book of Joel chapter 2 and those those are the scriptures i have heard in the spirit uh even as uh, the lord dropped that statement uh in my spirit now the bible says and it shall come to pass. So we are saying this is where we are. We don't. Know, we no longer read the scriptures and say it shall come to pass. So we are saying this is where we are right now. And that's why God is saying uh, we have entered into a very uh, prime moment of an, an individual uh, divine uh, moment of transformation, inner transformation, a and the inner transformation will transfigure some some of us and transfigure things in our lives so that we may attain the full stature of the Son of God. So this, the, the, the inner transformation will do the divine pruning, will do the, the divine separation, will do the divine positioning, will do, will do the divine resurrection, uh, will do the divine you know, strengthening even of our uh, spiritual muscles so that we are able to fit in into what the Lord is doing right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, uh, for, uh, for an individual uh, alignment. Amen. So the there is a lot of uh, in, in a, a transformation that is taking place right now. And as I'm speaking to us, I'm hearing the Spirit of God say uh, the, the inner transformation, the individual inner transformation uh, will heal, will, will divinely heal, you know, uh, the, 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 the hurting uh, the hurting souls, you know, the hurting minds, the, the hurting destinies. You know, it, it, I hear the Spirit of God say it is, it is a, a divine flow that, that is meant to rectify you know, a lot of errors you know, uh, that, that are causing havoc in our destinies even as we love God and we continue in this journey. So we, we must get hold of this season and we must learn uh, with it as an individual. Why? Because we have already been begotten as sons of God. We, we already belong. So we, we must allow our Father you know, mold us and, and give us the shape that He desires for us right now and, and you know, give us that, uh, that, thank you Holy Spirit I hear the Spirit of God say, give us that inner ability, you know, where we are able to to to, uh, to to live in this world according to the statutes that are set by the word of our Father in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, so the Bible says, so I'm, I'm reading the, the scriptures and I'm not saying it will come to pass. So I'm saying it is already, it is already here with us. So uh, now it has come to pass that the Lord has poured out his flesh, I mean his spirit upon all flesh. Amen. Uh, and the Bible says the sons and daughters us uh, will prophesy and the old men will dream dreams we are already there hallelujah we are already there and uh, young men uh, will see visions and also my uh, maid servants and my uh, and uh, uh, maid servants and men servants the lord is saying he has already poured his spirit so that is where we are that's why you see uh both men and women feminine and you know uh with whichever sex uh people are able to hear god and to do things that they are supposed to do we have seen even in my own country uh, we are seeing some small children you know little boys and girls they are, they are, they are ministering the word of god in power and in authority. Why? It's because it is a season. So what is the Lord saying? The Lord is saying 
uh, I have brought you people, I have brought my people into a season of inner transformation. And this inner transformation, it, it is very divine. It, it is a personal uh, operation, you know. And I'm, I'm hearing the Spirit of God say, when, when you go to an operation room, you don't go with somebody. Even if you are married, you appear alone. If it is you who is supposed to go through the operation, you appear alone. So that is what the Lord is doing. That is why you see, uh, you know, uh, there is a lot of contention in the spirit. You, you can feel it. There is a lot of contention in the spirit. Because why? Uh, we, we, I know life is a warfare. Life is a warfare. You, you must contend for it. You know, that's why you see when a, when, a ch when a child is being born, there is what we call the body pains. Hallelujah. Life is, is, a, is a warfare. You know, it is a, you contend for it. There, there is nothing in life that comes from a silver platter. You know, you must contend for it. And this is where we are in the name of Jesus. So the Lord they say, I am I am doing a Nina, you know, transformation for my people. I am doing a restructure. Uh, I'm 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 doing an inner restructuring, you know, restructuring. Hallelujah. So that each part, because we are all uh, members of the body of Jesus Christ, each each part may be able to supply to the body accordingly by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we must purpose. As an individual, you must purpose that you are going to remain so much connected to the reading of the Spirit of God so that we can attain the full stature of the Son of God. And for us to get there, God is dealing with us individually. He's, I've always told you the story of the prodigal son. You know, that father had two sons, and you see he's dealing with the two boys differently. They are, they are sons from, of the same father, but the father is dealing with these boys differently. Why? Because uh, he's a father. Hallelujah. And he knows all of them are grafted to him. He's a source of, because the father is a source, you know, and uh, he's able to, um, to gauge them and, uh, you know, to relate with them differently. Yet they are coming from the same father. So the same case applies to the kingdom we belong into. Hallelujah. So prepare yourself. There is going to be a massive you know, inner transformation. This is where you see uh, you are you are struggling with some character, you know, some habits, you know, some issues, you know, that, that you are not adding, you know, value to your life as a son of God. What you are going to see is that God is clearing that error. God is clearing that error by his own means. God is clearing that error. And God is bringing forth an inner transformation that is going to cause each one of us attain the full stature of the son of God. So the inner transformation will heal uh, the hurting souls, the hurting hearts, hallelujah, the hurting minds, hallelujah, the hurting bodies. This is where we are going to enjoy uh, uh, the, the, you know, the attributes of the names of God, hallelujah. This is where we shall see Jehovah Jireh in reality because we are in a season of tangible manifestation of what the Lord is doing, amen. So uh, 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 that is it. It is, it is an inner thing, you know, and, and that's why I've always been telling the church, Kaitre, don't deal with me with what you knew about me yesterday because when I encounter my now transformation I'll be a something different this is what we are seeing in the life of Saul when he encountered his personal transformation inner transformation hallelujah even if people could not accept him it was already done amen it was already done and the fruits thereafter were showing this is a different man hallelujah so Kaide, let us perceive people let us discern people even in the fellowship men and women of God let us perceive people let us discern and know what the Lord is doing. Um, I, I hear the Lord say, let somebody know that we are still working in progress. Amen. You, you could be having some you know, some character faults yesterday, but when you encounter God by yourself because your life is surrendered to Him, you know, something different happens in your inner being and what happens out here? Maybe, maybe you had an issue with anger. What happens after that? Anger is removed because it's not a part of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So, massively, we are going to encounter, uh, we are going to encounter uh, inner divine transformation and it is very personal and it is meant to heal our inner being. Hallelujah. And it causes us to enjoy that inner transformation as a flow, as an individual, so that uh, the body can be supplied, the body of Jesus Christ can be supplied for by every member without lacking anything in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So for a few minutes, that is what I came to pass forth to us. Uh, we said we shall keep on passing the word of God to us as the Lord is giving us utterance by his grace in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I've, I've just heard this morning, uh, inner 
transformation, inner transformation, and it is a, an individual uh, process, and uh, this is going to bring inner healing, uh, so that each one of us, as adopted sons of God, we may be able to uh, to be manifested out out here as uh, you know, as as people who are uh, have acquired full stature of the Son of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm in an, an inner room, and uh, it is the video is not uh, very okay. But you you have heard the word of God. You have heard the word of God. That is all what, what I wanted to pass forth, and my hands are clean. I, I felt that was not my word. It is a word for the body, and that is it. So we are already there. The Holy Spirit is in operation. So let us remain uh, surrendered to the Spirit of God, and let us allow God to do what He has decided to do with our lives and uh, for us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That is the word of God. God bless you. Have yourself a nice weekend. Um, anybody who is around Meru, uh, the eastern part of Kenya, Kaitre, we are hosting uh, a meeting tomorrow in the Rakanidi County. You can contact us, uh, contact us if you want to be a part of that. That meeting will not be aired online because we don't have facilities down there. But uh, if you are able to go with us, you can come to the city of Nairobi if you are within Kenya and we shall, we shall go uh, with you tomorrow by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you so much. Uh, have yourself a good day. Thank you. Shalom.